Hi guys, this is the UK app reviewer. Just review this is my first iPad review and it's for Mirror's Edge. Okay. Um There's not much to say really, it's it's basically the same as the console one. I mean it says it's got multiplayer, but don't be fooled, it's just time trials and stuff. Um I mean it's 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 got time trials, it's got leaderboards, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's also got a reasonably large amount of levels. I mean, I completed it quite quickly, but I, I was really bored. I was on holiday. <laughs> Didn't really have much to do. So, uh, obviously it gives you a background to the story. I mean, the graphics are pretty cool, pretty good. The sound quality is really good. Um, I'm not really a fan of the controls, though, because they're pretty crap, to be honest. It's nothing like the actual thing. You just swipe and that's all you do. Doesn't matter how you swipe, you just have to swipe in the direction that you want to go and then it that's it will get you there. And that's all you do at all, the whole time. And there's obviously bags to collect which gives it a bit more playback time. But still I'm really annoyed with the controls because they're so bad. I mean even like a joystick would have been pretty good. And like you just saw there, um, you can, there's like s slow motion sequences when you're against the bad guys. You can't actually use the guns, which is really bad, in my opinion, because I quite e like using the guns on Mirror's Edge, even though it wasn't very well polished. It was still pretty good and quite a good feature. And there's wall running and everything, there's, there's all the same free running and stuff. It's just, it's a little lazily done. It's obviously just a way of, for them, for EA to make more money. In my opinion. Um, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm looking, I'm watching this game through the camera and trying to speak at the same time, so I'm not going to be very good. Um, yeah, the graphics are pretty good, are actually really good for the iPad. I mean, you can't really see it here because it's quite dark actually, and all the brightness, the bright parts of the game are showing up re a bit too well. But, um, yeah, it's, it's really good quality, but um, still really disappointed about the controls and how you can't use a gun. Or not literally, all you can do is just kick them in the head or slide underneath them, and that's it. And like the bullets don't even hit you half the time, but they still count as a hit, which is ridiculous. And it's like. It's like Mario, you know, you can just go along a little bit. It supposedly looks 3D, but it's actually just very 2D. Which is really irritating, because they're shooting at you, but you can't take them out. Which is really annoying, and I've died. But, yeah, I mean, even so, I'm not going to rate it too lowly. I still rate it about 7 out of 10, I think. They just needed to put a bit more effort into it, really. Also, whilst I do that, I'm just going to show you the apps I've got. I've got Ra Real Racing HD, which I've played, but I'm not really into racing games for the iPad, unless they're like really fun ones. Uh, Mirror's Edge, obviously. Um, Form Springs, still not going, really. Uh, Real Tennis, that's pretty good. FIFA, big disappointment, but it's still quite fun. And I'm not going to go into detail about all of these. But, I mean, there's some main ones, like, um, the air guitar one's pretty poor, but, I mean, there's the artistic ones I've got, they're pretty good, like, like Doe, and the Adobe Ideas, and Office, Office HD, this is, if you want, if you've got, like, the printer app, but there's nothing to print, you can make your own files, and, like, t uh, like do Excel, and... Uh, Microsoft Word and and uh, PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good actually. This app is. I mean, it's a bit restricting and not quite like the one on the PC. And then I've got like Backbreaker, Bubbles. I'm pretty sure Bubbles is that one made by that ten-year-old kid that's now like got millions or billions or something because he's sold so many, sold the apps many times. Um. I've got the Telegraph app, 
if you don't know what the Telegraph is, it's basically one of the British newspapers. And then Trundle HD, that is a really good game. I'll show you that like, in another video. And then I've got Touch Tanks, which is actually an online game, and that's really good. Just quickly give you a demo of the piano. I don't know how the volume's on. <laughs> Go away. For any of you that don't know what that is, that's the Coco Pops tune. Uh, I can't really do the um, uh, Karate Kid theme tune because, <laughs> well, it's just impossible pretty much because there's not enough room. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool app. It's got all the keys you can like move along the keyboard. Yeah, it's like a double keyboard, which is pretty good. Uh, you can change it to see it to duet. So there's two of you. That's it, really. Check out my Twitter. Which is on my there's a link for it on my YouTube channel. Check out my channel. Leave leave a comment. Leave a uh, like it or dislike it. I don't really care. <laughs> um, uh, subscribe. Add me as a friend. Whatever. <laughs>